Autopilot wasn't just a fancy cruise control, it was pitched as the future of driving. A car that sees better than a human, reacts faster, never gets tired, never looks at its phone. Tesla showed sleek demos, cars navigating highways, changing lanes, even parking themselves with no one inside. The message was clear. Autopilot is smart enough to handle it. On their website, in press releases and keynote speeches, Tesla used phrases like full self-driving capability, navigate on autopilot, and enhanced autopilot. It sounded like science fiction becoming reality. But here's the catch. They always added a tiny disclaimer. Autopilot requires active supervision. Keep your hands on the wheel. Pay attention at all times. Still, that didn't stop people from believing the hype. After all, if your car can drive itself on the highway, doesn't that mean we've arrived in the future? Doesn't that mean you can relax, take a call, or glance at your phone? Tesla didn't say you could, but they sure made it feel like you could. The headlines started piling up. Tesla driver killed while car was on autopilot. Another crash. Was the system to blame? One by one, stories emerged of drivers who trusted their cars and never made it home. Let's rewind to May 7th, 2016 in Williston, Florida. 